no such thing as a respectable loss, not acceptable. I, I disagree. I disagree. And this is the issue that I have, man, is I respect guys who fight tough competition night in and night out. Not night in and night out, but fight in and fight out. So I respect the guy who maybe goes eight and two, but in that eight and two run has seven or eight tough fights. Like a Carl Frotch. Carl Frotch fought 12 to 14 straight tough fights against elite opposition. Went 12 and two or 10 and two, whatever it was. Had two losses, avenged one of them. And his other loss was to arguably the greatest super middleweight of all time in Andre Ward. That's why I respect guys like that. I salute guys like that. I have no interest in guys who are going to take low-risk, high-reward fights. As much as I love Tank Davis, entertainment value, 24 knockouts and 25 fights, he looks like he's the real deal. You got to fight somebody. I don't respect the O, the 25-0, and o, over a guy who is maybe 28-2 and two and has fought seven or eight top, uh, top 10 guys. Give me the other guy. All right. So I do. I disagree. I think they're respectable losses and you learn from the losses and become better, become a better fighter. That's life too. You learn from losses. You become a better person. It's the same thing in boxing as a microcosm. You have to test yourself. Oscar De La Hoya, six losses. Oscar De La Hoya is an all-time great. He fought all of his top peers in every division he was in. Would you have respected Oscar De La Hoya more if he didn't fight Shane Mosley at all? I respect Oscar De La Hoya more than he fought Shane Mosley twice. He has two losses with him, debatable losses, but he fought the fights. I'll take that over a guy risk high reward any day of the week, any day of the week. Give me that. I want guys who challenge themselves. Arturo Gotti could have not fought Oscar De La Hoya. He could have not fought Floyd Mayweather, but he wanted to test himself. Everybody knew he was going to lose those fights. He could have fought um, anybody for two to three million a fight, but he went in there and tested himself. Caught two L's, got better after the fact. We all moved on and we all respect Arturo Gotti. They're respectable losses, man. They just are. They just are. I respect the people who test themselves. Regis Progray and Mikey Garcia are likely going to fight. Guess what? I'd rather Mikey Garcia fight and lose to Regis Progray than fight and lose to a guy who's maybe number 18 in the rankings. I'd rather see him lose, fight and lose to Regis Progray than win against a guy, I mean, against a guy who's maybe 18 or 19 or maybe a guy who's number eight in the division. Give me that all day, man. I want guys who test themselves. I'm a boxing fan. I just want the best fights. And the only way we're going to get that is if guys go in there and test themselves. So if we take the position that there are no respectable losses, that I respect the O no matter what, um, as boxing fans, how are we going to get good, good fights? Because everybody's going to be afraid to fight each other. If that's the boxing world you want, have at it.